Welcome. So what I'm going to be talking about now is exponential growth. And actually, let me write this down. All right, so when dealing with exponential growth, what we have is y equals b raised to the x, all right? And exponential growth comes into play when our value of b is greater than 1, and b also cannot equal 0, where x is any real number. All right, so it's very important for us to understand that where b, our growth, when we have a growth function, that means the graph is going to be increasing, right? Growth increasing. We know that our base has to be greater than 1. That's going to become very important of understanding what the graph is going to look like. The base has to be greater, or b has to be greater than 1. And yeah, the base. Um, so now, next thing we can look at is, you know, we're going to go and graph this. So what does this graph go ahead and look like? I don't really like that marker, so I'll go and choose one of these. So if I was going to go ahead and graph that. So we know it's going to be growth. So I'm assuming we probably know that it's going to be increasing of somewhat. But it's going to be increasing at a very, very important um, structure. And also, it's going to have a, an, a y-intercept that's going to be very, very important. So the y-intercept, what we have here, is 0, 1. All right? So we're looking at our y-intercept. We have uh, 0, 1. Because when I put 0 in for x, we know that that's always going to equal 1. It doesn't matter what my base is. It doesn't matter what value it is. It's always going to equal 1. So therefore, this is what we're going to have as our parent graph. Okay? So our parent graph is going to look like this as it's going to fall and decrease to the left and then rise and increase to the right. Another form, however, if you guys remember quadratics, we talked about you know, shifting and reflecting and doing everything like that. Um, well, when we're dealing with an exponential graph, we have exactly the same thing. So we can look at that as y equals a times b raised to the x minus h plus k. And what, again, ladies and gentlemen, what that's going to tell you is, again, our h is going to be shifting our graph left and right. Our k is going to be shifting our graph up and down. And our a and our b are going to be dilating and stretching, stretching and compressing our graph vertically and horizontally. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is now your basics for exponential growth. Thanks.